Hi everyone, this is Shirley from ShopUp's Inventory. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to easily export all your Wix listings into Google Shopping and then be discovered by new buyers uh, through the web. So let's start. Uh, first of all, you would need to create your Google Merchant Center account. So please make sure to provide all the relevant details like uh, shipping, currencies, uh, so on. Uh, so first thing that we would need to do is uh, once we uh, downloaded the app, uh, we would need to authenticate into Google. So let's click continue. Uh, note that you need to provide consent to manage your product listings and account for Google Shopping. So you would need to check this box. So let's click here, select your relevant uh, Gmail account, and then check this box, okay? Here, you need to provide consent to manage your product listings and accounts for Google Shopping. So click continue. And this is it. Now you're connected to your Google Merchant account from Wix, okay? So you may have one or more accounts under your Google Merchant Center. Uh, as you can see here, I also have multiple accounts. So you can select a specific account that you want to export your listing, your listing to. Uh, so I will select a, a soft store, for example, and I will click next. This is it. Congratulations, now I'm connected. Uh, I will click done and now I can start uh, exporting my Wix listing into Google. Uh, let's start. So I selected the specific collection that I want to export. Uh, now here I can decide if I want to export my Wix uh, product title or my Wix SEO optimized title. Uh, here I can also select if I want to export my Wix product description uh, or SEO uh, optimized description. We will export the first variant into Google. Uh, and here you can also select the language with the, current, with the country. So please note that this is the uh, combinations that you can select. Uh, for your account, you may have different uh, lists that you can select. So uh, this is the combination that I will select. Uh, the currency is, uh, I'm from Israel, so this is uh, uh, Israeli shekels. Uh, and Google uh, settings that I need to provide. Uh, so what will be the default uh, value in the Google listings? Uh, I can select to export uh, into the Google online or if it's a local store. So once you're creating uh, your settings on Google, you can decide if it's local or online and then it will be marked as such. Uh, and the product availability, um, you may decide to uh, send the specific quantity that you now have for your listing or you can say just to mark this listing on Google as in stock, out of stock, pre-order or a uh, back order. I will select Wix default, which means the uh, quantity that is stored on the listing at Wix. And this is it, I will submit. Now I can see that I have two listings to export uh, and this is the collection. So I will click submit. And now all of my uh, listings from this collection will be exported into uh, Google. So once it will be done, you can see here you have a progress bar. Uh, once it's finished, it will let you know that it's completed. That said, you need to take a look and see what uh, Google replies back. You may have issues that you would need to resolve and I will show you it uh, right now. Okay, so let's uh, click here to refresh the information. And let's also refresh Google to see the results. Okay, so it may take several seconds to get the information. Um, so in the status page, you will be able to see 
what is the status that uh, Google replies back. Uh, again, it may take several uh, minutes or so. Let's try to refresh it again. Okay, perfect. Now I can see here the listing. Okay, the listing has some fixed suggestions. Okay, so you either you can either see it here in Google or you can see it inside our app as well. You can see what were the listings that you tried to export and what is the result. Okay, so here it is. I've tried to export my two listings into Google and they were disapproved. Now I can click here and then I can see all the warnings that Google replied back or I can see here the errors. So it's most important to, to resolve the errors. The warnings, they will not block you, but, um, but it's better to fix it. So you just need to uh, read the issues. You also have your learn more, so you can click on it and see how to resolve uh, based on uh, Google requirements. And you can also be able to view it on the Google search uh, center. So you can either see it here, those are the two listings, and those are also uh, the two listings. Okay, so this is it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.